those higher or the deeper spiritual areas um, and having the values of non-attachment and yet so we're trying to invoke wealth and that kind of mindset and not being attached to it at the same time. So I think maybe that's a bit of a sticking point too where people don't necessarily know how to find that balance of wanting it and yet not being attached to it. But I'm really actually, well, maybe you could speak to that first. Well, oh, there's a, there's there's going to have to be a system uh, <laughs> to have the wealth come in. Wealth is, is I mean, money is, is kind of, that funny combination of matter and energy. Mm-hmm. And it's you have to kind of realize there's going to have to be a vehicle to bring the wealth in. Mm-hmm. But because in and of itself, it, it's very rare to just kind of land out of the air on your lap. You know? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, um, it's got to have some sort of operating system. That's why we talk about the wealth operating and how to get to the subconscious and and how to really start working with yourself because then there'll be an opportunity presented, a door will open. And I, you know, and I'm, about two years ago, I made a decision to not say no to opportunity. Any opportunity came, I at least looked at it. Hmm. And um, it was a good move because it got me into different things that I would never have looked at before. So it's, you know, sometimes just setting it up so that you can let the subconscious also work for you. Mm-hmm. So, that, so, so that different things come in and normally you might just say, oh, no, I, you know, I don't have time. I'm not going to look at that, you know. But instead just go, okay, I'm, I'm going to be open to this. I love that, that openness to... A potential or what might come or what might evolve and that really really does speak to that idea of non-attachment and yet it uh, you you i can hear it in your voice the enjoyment or the, at least the the enjoyment of the exploration even if you you know something didn't work out it still seems to me like you benefited from the openness absolutely Absolutely. I, I felt like I was able to really take a look at a lot of different areas. It wasn't just uh, business or money-making opportunities, but really not saying no to all kinds of things, you know, that, that you might not normally do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You might go sing in a choir or something. I mean, you know, whatever. I mean, it could be some very strange things you could end up just going into because you've adopted a new attitude. I love that. Because then that speaks to this idea of wealth as being more than just more than just money, although it can be money. Well, absolutely, we want it to be more than just money. I mean, all of us are richer than that in terms of materialism or assets. And yet, why not have that money when it can make our lives easier? It can, quite bluntly, I think most of us, if we had our needs met, we would be going and doing what we want and probably working longer hours than anyone could ever pay us for. (laughs) And why? (laughs) Because of our love for it, our passion for it. In other (laughs) words, it would open the door to do only what you're passionate about. I have to say, I feel that. Yeah, that's... uh... First, it's kind of funny to the links because I'm really in this call. I'm trying to really pay attention to my triggers because this is, uh, or what what might provoke me a little bit. But when you began that statement, I was thinking work more. Ooh, why? But then I knew that your underlying thought had to have been the joy. It had to be because you like to, you want to, and. Uh, and then I kind of registered to how much hours I put into producing these teleseminars. <laughs> right, because you love it. Well, I do. It's the, yeah, and it's the same, Nina, with me. Yeah. I love teaching. I love lifting up people and, and, and saving lives. I mean, you know, teaching them how to heal themselves energetically. I mean, I, I love the work I do. Hi there, my name is Nina Wallander, and I wanted to talk to you about Layers of Health. Layers of Health is a free online community dedicated to investigating holistic and alternative health options. These options can include physical health, mental and emotional health, 
business health as well as your spiritual health. So you can join me as I discuss your health concerns with various experts, mentors, and leaders in their fields. And these interviews are offered for free live as well as during special Encore presentations. But if you find one that is particularly interesting to you, you can also purchase it. So you can join me at www.layersofhealth.com and I'll see you on the calls.